finally here. More of it here. Unusual. Notice that this has a very interesting stripe. Mystery Jasper from the volcano. Light blue over here. It's super interesting. All the way from British Columbia. So I'm gonna try and grab some of this, and then, geez, gonna blow it up. Get out of here. This unique unveiling started with a juicy piece of chocolate toffee chalcedony, one of many materials the volcano produces. But this, this is what we're here for. A jasper material with varying hues from a light seafoam green through emerald to the deepest of evergreen, then turning towards blues like the forest at twilight. Best way to get to know a new material is to work it. I let the jasper cleave naturally, so it broke or chose this shape. Time to fire up the machine and do some carving. It was evident right away the material had varying hardness. Jasper is a 6.5 to 7 on the most hardness scale, a diamond being a perfect 10. As I worked this piece, the darkest part of the stone was way harder than the light side. Was it due to differing mineral composition? I can tell you the light stuff was soft and dodgy to carve. You can see from the color below that it's throwing some lovely pigments that would be fun to paint with. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Are we punishing the stone for being soft? Cutting straight into the face. What, have I gone crazy? I can hear the sirens now. Here come the lapidary, please. No, she hasn't lost her mind. She found an opal. In the name of science, these were all tests, I swear. Cutting and carving the stone gave me a lot of feedback about the character of this jasper. The addition of the opal served a purpose, both sensibly and artistically. Polishing the opal, a 5.5 to 6.5, embedded in the jasper gave me a side-by-side -side comparo of how they behaved while being ground and polished. With fascinating results, the jasper material carves and polishes like butter, as graceful as the lines it found. The opal almost seemed harder, its glassiness in contrast to the more earthy gem. They both took a beautiful polish, very pleased with this experiment. Artistically, the light flash of the boulder opal is reminiscent of glimmering waters the newly cleaved material resides near. It appears a window into the heart of this mysterious stone that flows through the bedrock of Treasure Mountain. With other gems and minerals nearby, challenging Jared to cliff walk the steepest of terrains. The adventure of exploring this find is as dangerous as it is alluring. From dangling from the rock faces to lugging out countless pounds of raw material, the spoils are obvious. Who are you? Where do you get your color? From the heart of the tumult of the volcano or the intense collision of the accreted terrains below your birthplace? What's your guess? Copper, chromium, aluminum? Let us know in the comments. Thank you, Cliff Walker Rock Hounding, for letting us peer onto your claim and play with your blue-green jasper material. The most fun has been the science. After all, it's about solving mysteries. And as rock hounds, we're all about discovery. And thank you for watching. Check out videos about Treasure Mountain. Links are in the description. As always, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And keep creating.